During this moment to show and well basically to share this insight, but also like show like how, you know, spirit, source, universe <laughs> be aligning with me and having me line up with certain things of what I studied already, you know. And uh I got this piece of uh it's called Erith Erythrite. E R E R Y T H R I T E, but it's also like a cobalt ore, and I remember like uh, when I was looking at map back. So uh, check out as a precursor to, to what I'm about to talk about. Uh, go check out Brother Panic video on occult lectures. Uh, his video about how to die, and it got a part one, part two, and part three. And he brings up uh, Judy K. King. And also, you could go on uh, on YouTube and look up Judy K. King lecture. And you'll see uh, her lecture come up. And she wrote, a, uh, she wrote the book, The Isis Thesis and Balls of Fire. And it was just speaking on how, uh, how the RNA uh, polymer or the RNA uh, and DNA is connected to, again... Uh, mythology is anatomy by law, by law of correspondence. You know, any little myth mythological story has to be a part of anatomy. It has to be a part of a story that goes on inside of our body, you know, uh, as well. But just explaining how uh, Toth is uh, connected with the RNA and talking about phage lambda and basically... Uh, with the phage lambda, it has a has a rainbow protein coat, and it's made out of manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, nickel, and copper. And these these three, iron, cobalt, and nickel, are very magnetic and supports you know the magnetic field. And no coincidence that this uh, urethrite has cobalt and nickel in it, you know. And nickel is also found, very rarely found in a lot of crystals, but I think about chrysoprase as well. Chrysoprase uh, gets like that lime green color, in essence, from the nickel deposits. You know, so seeing how, again, the crystals line up with everything across the board as well. Like, again, crystals ain't just no, you know, uh woo-woo type of stuff, you know, and at this point, I know I'm not talking to, to those, if you don't get it, you know, you don't get it, but just sharing, again, like more evidence, and backed up by literature, you know, literature and lectures, the Judy K. King lecture, and I say uh, Judy K. King lecture, and then Brother Panic uh, lecture slash video, Running on how to die. So again. I'm not thinking of other crystals that's known to have this combination. Uh, Garnierite and Chrysoprase, again, with the nickel in it. And uh, again, like this how to die. Uh, was like having to tap in and get our DNA to a certain level so when we transition, you know, we could maneuver uh, fully. You know, uh, and Dan Winter talks about this as well, you know, talking about the Taurus field with constructive wave interference. You know, where basically when we, when our heart is in coherence and in alignment, you know, and our chakras are in alignment, you know, our uh, electromagnetic energy field, you know, the ley lines within it, uh move in the in the fire ratio and the fire ratio allows for the waves within our torus field to constructively interfere with each other meaning that when they do bump against each other they don't cancel each other out they actually keep growing and keep you know uh moving compared to destructive wave interference where uh the body is not in alignment with the golden mean ratio so the wavelengths are all like different and distorted. So when they bump against each other, they cancel each other out. You know, and again, it's science. 
Because simply with our moods and stuff like that, when you're in a lower vibrational state, you know, you could you could feel how your your energy feel is like more open to like negativity in essence, you know. And also a good book with explaining like uh in connection with Judy Kane King lecture, she was talking about like this mountain type of shape in a Taurus field, you know, and they bring up the mountain a lot in the book, uh like the symbology of a mountain. And the Celestial Ship of the North by uh, Valentino Straton. And also how the microcosmic universe influences the macrocosm. You know, like Ant-Man. But also again with the uh, Phage Lambda and the microbiome or gut brain. You know, we got like a, again, like a brain in our gut and it got like a little auric field that it creates, you know, from our stomach area. And hence why a lot of stuff goes to, you know, uh, like, again, it's not no just to be healthy type of thing. It's like, you know, detoxifying our gut, you know what I'm saying? Our intestines, you know, uh, from old vibrations that may have been there since we was little kids, you know. Might have fecal matter back from a jolly rancher you ate when you were small, you know, I'm jokingly saying it like that, but nah, you know, it's real shit, you know, uh, cause I started, that's why I started using a lot of psyllium seed, and again, for sure, fasting, uh, becoming vegan, you know what I'm saying, becoming vegan, not to no extreme, but more so, like I would say, vegan, more so raw, you know, or eating just more, uh, and natural things with no additives and stuff like that and things that would detoxify the body very strongly, you know. Because you notice, too, like when you have certain, like certain unhealthy foods, like uh, the unhealthy sugars and salts, you know, like you catch a craving, it's almost like a crackhead, like your gut, like it's almost like you no longer have control in that sense. Like, you know, it's like, oh, must go to the store, must go eat cake or something, you know what I'm saying? And, Definitely don't want to be operating in a manner where something outside of us could have that much, you know, influence on us due to what's going on it's inside. Again, it starts within. It's a lack of control or lack of alignment within the gut within that causes the external to have such a strong. Uh, and I said external, but it is like a vibe of like when you go around those candies and cakes, you know, the, the energy within your stomach that's got them candies and cakes in it feels that external like oh i feel it bring more of that inside you know what i'm saying like that that's why when you you know probably trying to kick a, a sugar habit or something like that and you go in a store and it feel like you're pookie looking at some big boulders of crack you know what i'm saying it's like oh shit bro like oh man like and i heard that so much like when people look at sweets and they're like oh man let me stop looking at that man or let me get out of here or like you know what i'm saying and not knocking you know, uh, to say, oh, you can never eat, you know, stuff with sugar in it, in that sense of it, but yet, you know, unhealthy sugars do, you know, fuck with the uh, microbiome or the gut, you know, and our gut intuition, our gut brain. But no coincidence. And the manganese, the manganese is in most paint crystals most like uh again like your rose quartz rhodonite rhodocrosite you know that's the manganese iron is most of your red crystals you know even but in combination with other elements it may also turn green depending on the crystal uh again cobalt nickel and copper Downloads coming through for sure, for sure. I'm just going to aerial view of the We're going to talk about again the viral DNA mod modulates our mind slash brain and its evolutionary message is reflected in our behavior. Again, like if you know if this ain't 
ain't aligned and cleaned up, then you know our behavior will reflect it. Oh, and also on top of the phage lambda is the icosahedron. And different shapes have different, you know, uh, dimensions. It's like a box, you know, it's three-dimensional. You know, it has three-dimensional planes to it. So, like, these different shapes have more than one dimension. Like, this is a, you know, a dimension that goes past, you know, uh, three. With all the different little faces and stuff and how it connects. Just sharing again, no coincidence. And I had this piece and was, you know, I'm like, man, I want to sit down and see what this piece is. And then, you know, it came to me. And I keep it real, though, no coincidence either that, you know, I just recently got my Moldavite too, and Moldavite amplifies synchronicity or manifestation on a whole nother level. But. Uh, for more insight on the the phage lambda and the DNA RNA process and its connection with the uh, mythology of uh, Jehudi or slash tote, you know, check out Judy K. King's lecture. You know, on uh, YouTube, you can find it on YouTube when you search it. And these are her books, the Isis Thesis and Balls of Fire. I haven't read them. Uh, and then Brother Panic Lecture, How to Die, Part 1, 2, and 3. Which he run it about, you know, this. But I'm not going to regurgitate any of that. And I say regurgitate because everybody regurgitating, you know, in some way, form, or fashion. But I'm not going to uh, dive into this. I just want to, again, at least share that connection. <laughs> How the crystal, you know what I'm saying? The cobalt crystal ore, you know, lined up. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a little literature on top of that, too, so you can see what. As a matter of fact, this book, Crystal Power, Crystal Healing, by Michael Ginger Ganger. But, uh, let's see where it is. So cobalt. I just, uh, I'm gonna go straight to the, the physical, but even with I mean metaphysical, but even with the physical aspect, it's still telling a metaphysical story. Because again, if we're talking about red blood cells, red blood cells have iron in it, and that's gonna deal with the Mars energy. So like whatever the blood does in the body, or whatever the iron does in the body, is in essence is gonna be connected to the mythology of the iron energy or the Mars energy, you know what I'm saying? But cobalt increases the formation of red blood cells, I mean red blood car carpuscles in the bone marrow. And the bone marrow is where the DNA is created. So if the DNA is created in the bone marrow and the bones are connected to structure, to Saturn energy, you know what I'm saying? So in essence, you know, it's like Father Time created your DNA uh, connection and no coincidence for the time or Saturn are called the Lord of Karma and when we talk about reincarnation or like you know uh, just dealing with releasing karma and stuff like that in a lot of cases it's connected with our ancestral lineage or our DNA you know so this again the story is in our body you know but uh, again through the bone marrow, through the creation of a hormone in the kidneys, it accelerates maturation and extends the lifespan of blood cells. Cobalt also increased the ability of the small intestines to absorb iron. Cobalt, like chromium, enhances a desire for change and new experiences. It awakens curiosity and joy in living, removes melancholy and strong yearnings, and promotes wit and cunning. Not for nothing... Uh, not for nothing has it been named after the German kobold, a clever or uh, clever and mischievous type of gnome. Uh, interesting. Cobalt helps to develop the view that all spiritual things are imbued with invisible being. 
It also promotes recognition of the spiritual universe. That's the most unique little explanation for most of these elements that, you know. So it's basically like saying, like, yeah, you really kind of understand, you know, uh, the interconnectedness of things, you know, dissolving duality in essence, you know. But, and again, it's a... Uh, it's one of the uh, elements that actually uh, causes magnetism, or should I say, has a strong uh, magnet uh, magnetism within it. And again, back to the manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, and copper. And then also, Nickel. Nickel promotes the absorption and utilization of iron. It promotes the activity of the liver and detoxification of the organism. Nickel helps with pain that arises periodically, for example, headaches. Nickel promotes a feeling of security within us and helps with fearfulness, sadness, and irritability. It helps us let go of oppressive images, particularly in the case of reincurring nightmares. And again, I noted. You know, that's what chrysoprase does, and no coincidence that chrysoprase has nickel in it. So, again, like as you do the research and study, you start to see the correlations, you know, and see that chrysoprase is like a lime green color, you know, and lime green color is like a mixture of the uh, solar plexus and the heart chakra, you know what I'm saying, that deals with the inner child work. You know, and chrysoprase speaks particularly also to helping. Uh, remove nightmares from you know children you know so it's all again all connected nickel also fortifies the power of re regeneration nickel promotes creativity and inventiveness nickel keeps us young mentally and encourages a playful nature you know so matter of fact nickel and cobalt definitely uh promote you know uh and again, it's not like trying to be uh, immortal in this in this realm, in this physical realm forever. At the same time, you know, uh, allowing ourselves for our body suit to be as healthy as possible. Because I realize also with this shift, you know, it feels like uh, whenever I'm not at my healthiest, it feels even worse. Like, you know, like if I go off of my uh, healthiness a little too much, it, it causes some type of physical you know, pain or ailment, like, very quickly, you know what I'm saying, to let me know, like, hey, bro, like, this is a, becoming more and more of a slippery slope, and again, you eat what you want do to your subconscious mind, you know, again, because I'm never one to, like, try to, uh, I have no agenda with diets or none of that, you know what I'm saying, so I'm not going to try to coax you to eat one or the other, you know, it's like shit, find what works for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, because uh, again, like shit, if, if you subconsciously, there's yogis and people that's tapped in on such a strong level where they could take something that's unedible, eat it, and make it do something that's healing for themselves just because they subconscious could strongly shift, you know, the perception of what they're consuming. Like again, the placebo effect, it's called the placebo effect. <laughs> you know, regular, the regular old normal scientists that still be lying to people discovered this. And it's funny how they discovered that and still be on that bull. But hey, it is what it is. I digress. Man, I appreciate them for being the pressure that's creating my diamond. You know, certain foolishness is necessary. And I'm grateful. <laughs> <laughs> peace, peace, y'all. Now the vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. <laughs>